Mr. President, my name is David Collins. I'm the founder of the Ubuntu Addiction Community Trust. And uh, in your SOMAR speech, you said you wanted to be there for the poor, for people suffering with HIV, for the drug addict and for the alcoholic. And I want to tell you about our solution that we've got at the Trust. So let's first of all talk about the structure. The structure of the Trust is a Section 18A Trust. Uh, there's a Board of Trustees that uh, need to make sure that I deliver on the mandate of the Trust. And basically the Trust has three objectives objective is to train people, empower people, that they can go off and provide treatment for people. And um, we do this by training people in the art of uh, professional recovery coaching. Our training is a SACWA accredited uh, training that's taken us a long time to jump through the hoops of bureaucracy to get that accredited. But our students will then uh, leave with an accredited uh, recovery coaching um, skill set, which uh, can be used uh, in communities that they come from and the communities which they serve. I really believe that our training is uh, in line with the National Development Plan and uh, it really focuses on a, a bottom-up approach. So instead of communities sitting there waiting for people to come for the solution, we'd much rather train people to empower them that we have a bottom-up approach for that. The reason why this works well is it creates uh, what we call recovery capital and recovery capital is the internal and external resources available to someone when they want to move from a culture of addiction to a culture of recovery. If you look at the Surgeon General's report from uh, the US under the Obama administration in 2016, in there you will see that uh, for every $1 spent on training around the substance abuse problem, you save $7 on the judicial system of trying to police and prevent substance abuse and $4 on the medical treatment. So for each dollar you spend on training people, you save $11. Um, and I imagine there's going to be a similar uh uh, outcome here in South Africa. Um, we've been offering this training since uh, 2008 and uh, we have been uh, working uh, with communities, LDACs, local drug action committees, schools, school programs, other treatment centers and uh, uh, the recovery coaching process really does work well and uh, certainly does improve treatment outcomes. Our work is uh, evidence-based, it's based on best practice uh, from the best schools from around Around the world and our unique uh, uh, solution here, our unique African solution is being exported to the UK and to Australia and New Zealand. There are three values that we uh, take for our organization, which is taken from uh, New Zealand, um, which uh, were used when uh, New Zealand moved from a colonized uh, uh, country to one of independence and those three values were transparency, access and participation. So it's really important for us to build, uh, to be a transparent organization to build trust. Uh, access, uh, we need to make access available to everyone as easy as possible and participation. This is a systemic problem that all South Africans need to uh, work on to come up with a solution. So those are the three values we aligned ourselves with and our goal is to train a thousand recovery coaches, professional recovery coaches at a thousand dollars each. So we're looking to raise a million dollars for this and this money should be taken from uh, the liquor levy tax that uh, we're using to uh, tax uh, alcohol very much like the, the National Responsible Gambling Program has used profits from uh, the casino industry to create a, a solution for problem gamblers. Um, and uh, that's really the model that uh, we have going. Uh, my treatment center is in Oakland, uh, Johannesburg. It's just down the road from the V to E where I've seen you drink coffee a couple of times. And I'd love to show you the facility sometime. Uh, we're a licensed, we're licensed uh, treatment facility. We're licensed with the Department of Social Development and uh, the Department of Health. And uh, we're also uh, licensed to deliver treat, training and uh, outpatient-based programs from our facility. And really what we want to do is <clears throat> be able to train coaches that uh, can continue uh, to do their work, to go off into communities and to create recovery capital within those communities. And we work in three areas. We work with families, we work with schools, and we work uh, with substance 
abusers. And uh, that three-prong approach is a systemic approach where everyone comes up with a solution. So I'd really love to chat to you more about this. Me personally, my political agenda is uh, I don't vote. I'm not, a, I'm not associated with any political party. And the reason I do that is uh, I will work with anyone that wants to uh, address the addiction problem. So that's what I wanting to do, starting to rain, uh, I hope that's a good sign, I hope that's a sign of uh, luck, um, I hope this hasn't been a waste of time, and I would really love to connect and work with you and your cabinet close, more closely, that we can all lift this nation up together. Thank you for watching.